Hello world, how y'all doing? It's your boy Boss Rider checking in again from Navigate Logistics and welcome everybody back to the channel. Uh, can I please get that like? You can join the tribe and subscribe and you can share if you really care. Uh, just want to do a first quarter recap, 2024 recap. Uh, go over some things that I've been hearing in the trucking industry and the freight market uh, and a few things that have been going on lately and stuff. End of April, we're getting ready to wrap up this month. Uh, so we can go over this first quarter of how I did and what's, what I've been hearing in the industry. So hopefully everybody's being blessed doing what they got to do to provide for themselves and their loved ones. Uh, progressing every day, taking things one at one day at a time. Uh, peace, and positivity, and blessings to everybody. So, like the first quarter, I mean, it's been good. I can't really complain, you know, because the truck market, the trucking industry, you know, the state of the trucking industry ain't where what and where it's, it's not in the best. Uh, it's not the best. So I can't complain. Uh, I've been uh, maintaining, making progress, you know, keeping up on my maintenance of the truck, uh, catching up on some things, uh, not as fast as I want to, but I've been catching up, you know, uh, been maintaining. So that's the only thing I can uh, ask for. I'm still actively looking to expand, but, you know, I had to kind of slow down or slow down on that process because I've had some guys apply but as I'm you know vetting them out the market ain't really in a good place for me to bring on people that just want to that don't want to put forth the effort and have the time that I have you know what I'm saying so I'm looking for people that got the same work work, work ethic as I have and that's going to be as dedicated as me because that's what it takes to kind of to survive and uh, pull a profit in this in this work in this uh, trucking industry right now. It, it really don't. It, it really won't allow you to take the time off, and, you know, that most people, most drivers, are looking for right now. So I'm looking for explain, but I'm looking for uh, you know individuals that's just like minded as, as myself that's ready to. You know, put in the work, the dedication, and rather the sacrifice, willing to sacrifice to be able to survive until uh, this trucking, this freight market turns around, which I foresee turning around. You know, sometime within the second, third, fourth quarter of this year, uh, it may have, it may be the second, first quarter of next year. Who knows? But uh, I'm still booking loads. that's uh, above or at my cost, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still doing what I gotta do to provide, you know? And I can, you know, I can test, I can I can say that I can do that for another driver as well, but you just gotta be able to, you know, put in the work and make the sacrifices, like I said before. So the first quarter, you know, I've been averaging uh, over 20K, you know? for the first three months and that's been pretty good you know what I'm saying um, I can't complain about that uh, we successfully did that contract I was running a contract 30 low contract and in negotiations with uh, renewing that contract the shipper is looking for another uh, distribution facility so right now everything's on hold as far as negotiations until we find out where they're going to be distributing from so but we successfully did that, and that was pretty good. Um, let's see, uh, what else been going on? Uh, as far as the industry, uh, the big companies has been, you know, reporting on their first quarter, and, and a lot of these big companies been taking a loss. You know, JB Hunt, um, Knight, Swift, all of them been kind of reporting that they've been taking a loss this first quarter, and. The renegotiations of their contracts have not been going as good as they want to. 
Now I know pre on my previous uh, videos, like I always said, it's my opinion that uh, the cause of this freight recession, <laughs> I've been, I feel like it's been because the brokers taking more percentage of the lows and the broker margins being where they, uh, being where they are, they've been just taking more. That's been my uh, opinion off the information that I've been getting, but a lot of this information that's been coming out about the first three quarters, I mean the first quarter of 2024 has been uh, revealing that the shippers have been kind of just not wanting to come off, or it's been kind of a payback from what they've been having to deal with as far as just to get their products moving 2020, 2021, and 2022 them having to pay so much to get their products moved, a lot of it has just been payback. Uh, them still holding on to, you know, what they had to do during the uh, pandemic. So they ain't been wanting to uh, help out as far as letting the market correct itself. So you still got the, it's just a lot of factors going into it still got over capacity i would say on the on the carrier side more trucks on the road you still got over capacity on the broker side as well because you still got people wanting to uh you still got more the more brokers then you got more competition for the loans as well so just like the carriers people are going to underbid and now it's coming to find out that shippers they just don't want to they don't want to give up you know what i'm saying and, and it's kind of payback you know carriers and brokers did so good during those times that the shippers just don't want to release uh, the funds to, to let the market correct itself. So they're, they're uh, playing hardball with the ne ne negotiations. So you hear some of these big carriers uh, saying they had to take a loss. You know, uh, carriers like J.P. Hunt and, you know, Night Swift, and I'm pretty sure it's more of them out there. Uh, so what they're having to do is, you know, uh, cut some of their fleet uh, let go some of their contracts and you know the market is going to uh, correct itself it's just everybody's going to have to make sacrifices and the carrier's been doing that for the last couple of years so now it's the brokers you got brokers uh, going out of business and uh, brokerages you know cutting some of their workforce and now it's the shippers you know what I'm saying so it's going to correct itself you know, this uh, trucking industry has always, always been about ups and downs, so this down period just been a lot longer than usual. So, you know, I'm staying prayed up, doing the best I can to survive it, and we're just going to see how things go. Um, but my first quarter uh, has been a lot better compared to what I'm hearing from, you know, those big companies. Uh, saying that um, they, their first quarter, you know, uh, came in as a loss. Um, I didn't come navigate logistics, didn't come in as a loss. Now, it hasn't been as possible as I originally scaled my business to be, but in this recession, I can't expect that. So I can be happy that I didn't come in as a loss in the first quarter and I'm still booking loads at or above cost. So, I'm happy about that. Uh, this last week, it's watermelon season for those who don't know. Uh, produce season and watermelons are really starting to move. So I picked up a load down there in Florida. Uh, right about, I wouldn't say, right about $2 a mile uh, coming out of Florida. And you know, normally you won't see nothing like that coming out of Florida. So with this watermelons and it was originally going to um, Atlanta I got up to Atlanta and uh, man Kroger they end up rejecting the load so I was surprised about that Not, and it had nothing to do with me I guess it was just you know they do their inspections on it but what up, ended up happening is I had to get I had to take that load all the way up to New Jersey so I had to cancel one of the loads that I had booked in they ended up paying me the same rate to take it all the way up there. So, I mean, I didn't take a loss on it. Um, I actually made more money off of it. It was cool. I dropped that yesterday. Um, 
and I made it up and out of there without having to deal with a lot of the traffic. So I was real thankful for that. And I ended up getting booked again. Uh, and I got a real light load now going back down south out of Richmond, Virginia. So everything's been going good, but it, um, just putting the word out there, it is watermelon season. You can't go down there and pick up you a load. If you end up going down to Florida, I know a lot of people don't like running Florida and they say what they want to say, but I always see trucks. There's still trucks going down there. And there's a lot of owner operators going down there. And I run down there because I know how to navigate the market. You know what I'm saying? I always get uh, right at cost or above to go down. And I do got my own contacts to make sure I can at least cover my fuel to get out of there. So, you know, to each his own, we all out here doing what we got to do. You got to know how to run your business. And uh, you got to do what works for you, you know what I'm saying, on what lanes and stuff like that. So I got a system that I work, and uh, Florida is a part of that. So uh, we just going to continue to do what we got to do, baby, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so hopefully everybody's staying blessed and safe out there. I ain't going to make this video too long. Uh, just wanted to go over my first quarter recaps. Any questions or concerns, feel free to give me comments. Those comments about me driving while I'm blogging whatever you know keep it to yourself man it's just like me talking on the phone to somebody else in the passenger side I ain't looking directly in the camera because there's no need for me to do it so like I said uh, uh, for those who want to join on to the fleet I'm still looking you know if you feel like you can match my work ethic if you can make those sacrifices uh, feel free to apply you can go to navigate-logistics.com submit a resume uh, you do have to have two years of experience with a clean MBR. Uh, we can do flat. We can do flatbed. We can do driving. Uh, flatbed. You got to have your own experience. I don't have time to train. So just gonna put that out there. Uh, that's about it, y'all. So until next time, like I said, everybody stay blessed. Do what you got to do. Take one, day, one day at a time. And uh, don't forget to give me that like. Join the tribe and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And share if you really care. It's your boy Boss Rider. Checking in. Navigate Logistics. Peace.